Installing a coolant filter is an effective way to help maintain your cooling system. Coolant filters help trap debris from the water supply, maintenance procedures, and combustion byproducts. Choosing the right filter comes down to selecting the best SCA for your system. Baldwin offers coolant filters with two types of SCAs. BTE, or Balanced Treatment for Ethylene Glycol, is a borate nitrite-based inhibitor designed specifically for 30 to 60 percent ethylene glycol solutions. BTE is also compatible with 30 to 60 percent propylene glycol solutions. BTE provides superior protection against cavitation erosion, liner pitting, corrosion, scale, and foaming. BTA Plus, or Balanced Treatment Additive, is a phosphate molybdate nitrite based coolant inhibitor designed for use in plain water or in antifreeze solutions up to 60 percent. BTA Plus provides excellent protection against cavitation erosion, liner pitting, corrosion, scale, and foaming. For those who prefer to add liquid SCAs to their cooling system, coolant filters without SCAs are also available. With the increased demand for extended drain intervals, Baldwin introduced controlled release coolant filters. These filters allow additives to be released into the cooling system only when heat and coolant flow are present. Additives are released at an even rate as opposed to conventional service filters that release all the additives at once. Baldwin's controlled release coolant filters contain high capacity synthetic media designed to trap contaminants and maintain their structure through service intervals of one year, 150,000 miles, or 4,000 hours of service. To better understand how a coolant filter works, let's look at the components of a typical spin-on coolant filter with chemicals. The primary components are a base plate assembly, a bottom end cap with a flow control orifice, a center tube, the filter media, SCA pellets, a top end cap, a compression spring, and the canister. Spin-on coolant filters without chemicals contain no SCA pellets. The primary components of a controlled release spin-on coolant filter are a base plate assembly, a bottom end cap, the filter media, a top end cap, a center tube, a molded plastic chamber, coated SCA pellets, a diffusion control orifice, a flow control orifice, a compression spring, a spring protector, and the canister. When using a standard service spin-on coolant filter with chemicals, coolant enters here, is filtered through the media, then passes through the center tube. SCA pellets, located inside the center tube, dissolve as coolant passes through. The coolant then continues on into the engine cooling system. When using a controlled release spin-on coolant filter, coolant enters through the inlet holes of the base plate. A majority of the coolant passes through the filter media. A portion of the coolant enters through the diffusion control orifice. SCAs are released back through the diffusion control orifice at a controlled rate. The coolant then flows through the filter media and back out the flow control orifice into the engine cooling system. Choosing the right coolant filter with the best SCA for your cooling system will help keep your diesel engine operating effectively and efficiently.